Welcome back to grade 8 to your fourth online lesson. Please ensure that you have your script, your large purple textbook, as well as your novel called Gulliver's Travel. Please write today's date, the 28th of April. Also write the following, reading and viewing a report, activity 3 on page 166 to 167. Grid 8, before we start with the report, we first need to recap on the reading skills. You will use these reading skills to read your report. Please copy down the definitions and make sure you understand the difference between them. The first one is scanning. You scan when you run your eyes over text to find specific information. The second one, skimming. When you skim a text, you read it very quickly to get an overview, example to skim the newspaper headlines for the main news. And then the third one, intensive reading, to read a passage attentively, noting the main points and all the details. When you do intensive reading, you interpret or draw a conclusion. First of all, what is a report? A report is an account given of a particular matter, especially in the form of an official document, after a thorough investigation or consideration by an appointed person. The purpose of a report is to convey the interested persons the whole result of study in sufficient detail. Please copy this down. Now we will look at a format of a report. You will be given an opportunity in class to write your own report. The first one is the title, which is short. The second, the author or authors who worked on this report, the name and surname. The date the report was written. An introduction, the discussion, a conclusion, recommendations, and obviously the source in which you will find this report. You are now going to complete activity 3 on page 166 to 167. Make sure you use the different reading techniques as mentioned above. If you look at the report on page 167, you will notice the source is a Pretoria News, which is a local newspaper. The date, the 21st of June 2012 and they provide you with a short heading 251 rhino poached so far this year please complete this activity i am taking this time to explain what is expected of you during this lockdown period you will need to take some time to complete some of your prose this is done in the back of your script first take time in the evenings and read your novel Gulliver's Travels. Number two, complete the questions in the back of your script based on the novel. These questions are found on page 91 at the back of your novel. Note the novel consists out of two parts. Part 1, A Voyage to Lilliput, chapter 1 to 6. Part 2, A Voyage to Brodingna, chapter 1 to 8. I will now also be marking with you chapter 1's answers, as you were required to complete these questions at the first lesson. Make sure you've got the date, your heading, novel, Gulliver's Travels, part 1, chapter 1. Please rule off and write a new date and heading for each chapter. Number 1. He wanted to travel the world. Number 2. No, he ended up there by accident, unaware of where he was. Number three, not only because of their size, as they were very small, but they also had weapons and they had tied him down. Number four, they used a ladder to get to his mouth, to feed him baskets of food and barrels of water. And number five, they took him to the capital city of Lilliput, called Moldenoe. 
Please ensure that you mark these answers and please remember your corrections. Please complete chapter 2 and 3 for Thursday.